Hello and welcome back to Kent ISD's Remote Learning Boot Camp Video Recording and Screencasting Module. This is segment three, editing your video. As we get into editing your video, I want to put one key point in front of your face right now. And that is that editing takes a lot of time. Um, I've done a little bit of research into the film industry and how much time it takes an uh, editor on a film to edit their videos and they say that about one minute of video, one minute of film, takes about two and a half hours to edit in the studio. Um, now we're not working with films to that extent, <laughs> um, hopefully not anyways, but um, you should know that editing can take a lot more time than recording um, unless you plan ahead. So my suggestion is that you limit your editing as much as possible and one tip I would give you, this is something that I've learned over the years, is that um, as you're speaking, if you make a mistake or something pops up on your screen, the best thing to do is just pause, don't say anything for a second, go back to the content you were looking at, and, and just start that segment over. You can go in and, and trim out a little chunk, it's called splitting and cutting, um, a chunk out in the middle later on in your editing process, which we're about to show you. Okay, so um, if you make mistakes, that's okay. If it's a big mistake, pause, go back to the content, and then move forward. Uh, and limit your editing as much as possible. So I'm going to take a second and just show you a little bit around um, what a video editor looks like, and um, then I'll get into a couple tools that you could try to use um, as you get into this. So most video editing tools look pretty similar. The tool I'm going to show you on is called Camtasia. It's not a free tool, um, but it's one that I have access to and I like to use. So you may see a few more features here uh, than you would on another tool uh, that you choose to use, but uh, they all look basically the same. What most of them will have is a preview screen that will show you your video or the video that your students would be watching in the end. Um, over here on the left side of your screen, there's almost always a library tool. So you can see that I've got a couple of videos that I've recorded for this segment of the video. I've got an image that I dropped in because I made a little mistake on one of my slides that I wanted to properly fix. You, some tools will even let you add audio files in there. And all you do is take those, those files and drop them onto your tracks down here. Now the tracks are where you do editing. And you can think of them as like a stack of papers, right? They have a layer on top of each other. So you can see if I move my cursor to here, you'll see that image that I just dropped in pop up on top of um, the image I have because it's the top track. Okay. For now, I'm going to get rid of that. My cursor here kind of helps me go through my video step by step. And it lets me do a little bit of cutting and editing. So if I go to the place where I want to cut a chunk out of the middle, I can, in this tool, right click and hit split all. Uh, some tools will call that trim or cut. Now if I go over here, slide it over a little bit, I'm going to split all. So say I made, made a mistake and I was going to cut just the mistake out. I start where I want, where I started the mistake and then I end it where I want it, where I recovered. And I'll cut that little chunk right out by just deleting it out of there. Okay, then I can take my chunks, and move them back together so there's like a seamless transition from one video to the next. Um, that's the gist of video. I wanted to give you just the basics of what this looks like. For more information, you'll want to go into the different tools. Um, each tool that I share in a minute here has a video that goes along with it from Justin Brown that does a much deeper dive into how that tool works. So you'll want to watch those when you select the tool you want to use. So let's head back to tools. The first tool I want to share with you is YouTube Editor. YouTube Editor is awesome because it works on the web and there's not a lot of other tools that do that for free. Um, yes, I said free. <laughs> so it works on a Chromebook, it works on a PC or Mac um, with any kind of web browser. So definitely the top one that I recommend. Um, it's very easy, it's very uh, versatile, it doesn't have a ton of features, but it has enough to do most of the basic editing that we need for instruction. It's also got a couple of really nice features in it um, that are accessibility tools. The first is an automatic closed captioning tool, so it will actually listen to your voice and um, transcribe it into closed captioning. 
and the other tool is face blurring. So within YouTube video, um, YouTube editor, it will actually look for the faces of people in your video and you can choose to blur them or not. So if you're working with pictures of students, it's a fantastic tool to help you um, navigate that. The only downside is that you have to put your video on YouTube first and then you can do the editing after that, um, which I know some people are just not comfortable with. YouTube is a Google product and it has much of the same sharing settings as what Google Drive does, meaning you can share a video totally publicly, you can make it unlisted, or you can make it private and share it just to specific people. Um, so I don't. I think it's actually kind of nice that it puts it in a place that's easily shareable, and we'll get more into that in segment four. Um, but I know some people are just not comfortable with that, and that's okay. That's that's your prerogative. I did mention Justin Brown over here. This is his video um, where he takes a deeper dive into YouTube Editor. I suggest this is the tool that you use. Um, so take some time and watch his deep dive to get into it more. If you are going to edit on um, mobile, you may want to check out iMovie if you're using an iOS device, so iPhone or iPad, or check out KineMaster if you're working on an Android tool. Okay, so we're to the deliverables. Your job for the deliverable of this section is to edit down the original video that you took in segment two. So that means trim off the beginning or end of your video, or if you made a mistake somewhere in the middle or you just want to practice, Try trimming out a chunk in the middle of your video as well. If you want to play around with some of the other tools like adding in a bookend or a title slide or um, dropping in a lower third or some transitions in there, feel free to do that. Um, it's not required for this, but if you feel like you're an advanced user and you just want to learn a little bit about that, now's your time to do that. Um, that's it. Once you've got that video, uh, copy and paste a link into your checklist and you are done with segment three. In segment four, we'll come back and look at how we're going to get these videos into our students' hands.